Hi guys, so um, I wanted to give you another video lesson on mass this time. So you've got your document, you should take that out, and I want to uh, get us started. So which one of these is larger? Remember we did this with length, let's try it with mass. Is a pound larger or is a hundred grams larger? Circle which one you think. Is a kilogram or a pound? And then an ounce or a thousand milligrams. Well, if you're a metric pro, first of all, a pound is equal to 453.6 grams. So a pound is a lot bigger than 100 grams. Okay, and a kilogram is about 2.2 pounds. So a kilogram is larger. If you weighed 100 kilograms, you'd be 220 pounds. And one ounce is larger. An ounce is actually 28,000 milligrams, or 28 grams. So one ounce of gold would be equal to about 28 paper clips worth. Okay, so here's some of the background about mass. Uh, mass is the amount of matter in an object. It's the amount of molecules in a space, in an object. And it is the basic unit of mass is a gram, and it's represented by a letter G. Okay, there is a standard for one kilogram, and it is that picture that's shown over there on the, on the right. That is the standard kilogram. So if everybody lost all their scales and they wanted to know how much a kilogram was, this is the standard right there. Okay, um, so one kilogram, kilo, is a thousand grams. Remember we learned that uh, one kilometer is a thousand meters? Same thing here. And one gram is a thousand milligrams, just like one meter is a thousand millimeters. Okay, so now knowing that, which of these is larger? Pause the video, see if you can have a guess, and then turn it back on to find out the answers. Okay, ready? So a kilogram is smaller than a 1500 grams. Remember a kilogram is a thousand grams, so 1500 is bigger. For B, 1200 milligrams is larger. One gram is a thousand milligrams, so 1200 is larger. All right, see 12 milligrams or 12 kilograms, that should be easy. Kilo is bigger than milla, so 12 kilograms. And then D, four kilograms or 4500 grams. Remember one kilogram is a thousand grams, so 4,500 is larger. Got it? Go back and review if you need some, uh, some more help. When we measure mass, we use this instrument. It's called a triple beam balance, right? And you'll be using one today, okay? So first of all, you put your object, in this case, it's at a film canister on the scale, okay? Next thing, you slide all the weights. Notice how right here, right there, all the weights start at zero. Right, slide the large weight to the right until the arm drops below the line and then move it back one groove. Notice that in the middle bar and on the, the far away, the bar far away from you, there are grooves. Your weight has to be dropped into one of those. You'll feel it click as you move along. Okay, so make sure it locks in place. So you slide the, the largest one first until it drops down, then move back one. Then you do the repeat the process with the the bar that's uh, in the back, okay? When it drops below the line, move it back one groove. And then what you do is you slide the small weight, okay? Right here, this will just slide across. There are no grooves in the front one. And you want to slide that back and forth until the line points exactly at the zero. This is just like when you go to the doctor and um, they move the weights across to find your weight, you're doing the same thing, okay? Then what you do is you add up the amounts on each bar. This beam, the biggest one, plus the back one, plus the front one, equals the weight in grams. And you can find it to the nearest tenth. Okay? So if this were the case, right here, let's say this one was pointed at the 300, that one was pointed at the 70, the back one, and the front one was at, what do you think, 3.3? Okay, I'm going back to uh, the part I messed it up there, so I'm going back. All right, so I'm going to the end.
here. So if we had 300 plus 70 plus 3.4, and you add all those up, it is 373.4 grams. Okay, so that's what the picture would be. All right, so that's how you do it. Fill out, make sure your note sheet is all filled out, and then bring it on up to show me. All right, see ya.